This one-room school is officially known as Pleasant Valley Country School District 32. It was built in 1873. Residents are marking the school's 150th anniversary. It looks like when mom and dad went to school here uh, 65 years ago, or 70 years ago for them. Alan Fritch's parents, Rudy and Dorothy, attended what most people now call the Rock School. This is a picture of them outside the school. My dad grew up about half a mile east of here. Mom grew up three quarter miles south here, and so they walked together to school all through grade school, got married, and, and then they lived on the farm here all their lives until they passed away three years ago at 87. So uh, that's, that's the attachment I have. Alan has other attachments as well. My grandfather, Rudy Frick Sr., also went to uh, school here. And then my great-great-grandfather, James Fritch Sr., was one of the three stonemasons that built the facility. Many people have memories of the school, including these two brothers who went there. Back then, the teacher was law. I mean, like, if you had a discipline coming, the teacher took care of it. Whatever the teacher did was okay with the parents. They didn't care because it was worse when you got home. <laughs> I went on it two years, kindergarten, first grade, but uh, you get to listen to all the classes. I sat up front, probably a reason, but anyhow, I sat up front, but, but you'd have one to, uh, kindergarten through eighth grade, you know, and you could hear all that going on. It was fun, and sometimes we got in trouble, but it was clean trouble. <laughs> as the school marks 150 years, it's looking good as new. A new swing set and seesaw outside makes it look like students could attend here today. The school closed in 1956 and fell into disrepair for a time. The building was in bad shape uh, and it had been used to store hay and uh, we just thought that well, it was getting to the point where we either needed to tear it down or do something with it and uh, I kind of got a group of neighbors who were all alumni and we met across the road over here and it was unanimous. Everybody said, oh, let's try to save it. And save it, they did. The community started to restore it in 2013, and by 2016, they had given the building new life. One of our neighbors uh, is a stonemason by trade, and he came in and, and tucked all the rocks. This little country school was built so long ago, but when locals gather inside to share stories from the past, you can almost imagine what they were like as students. Even the front drawer of the teacher's desk has memories inside. All of the teachers who taught at the school signed their names to a long list. It just means a lot to have this. The hope is that this school can continue to stand as a monument to the past and a reminder of how things used to be. It's kind of neat to see that uh, the building's been restored and like I said, it looks like it could have class in it. It's pretty incredible. The Rock School Foundation has teamed up with the Great Plains Walking Club of Omaha to have a Volks March on Labor Day. Now the walk begins between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. and must be done by 1 p.m. We are told there will be beer and brats along with polka music in the shade of a large tent on the school grounds. The school is five miles southeast of Table Rock and all are welcome.